Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, I asked you to put this item on the agenda simply so that we commissioners could have a discussion about this topic. And mm -hmm. I've learned a lot since I made that request. Um, the reason why I wanted it on the agenda is because it was again brought to my attention that um, nonprofit organizations and charitable organizations in the state of Washington can raffle off assault weapons and they can actually raffle off all gun, any kind of gun. But the one that was really important to me personally, this is just from my point of view, was the fact that they can raffle off assault weapons. And I don't know that that's in keeping with the Gambling Commission's, um, the many parameters that we put around different rules and prizes that, um, re that where they are recreational in nature and also our focus on safety. I don't know that, that allowing that in this, in this state especially is something that makes sense. So since then, I, it was brought to my attention that the legislature took a vote and the legislature um, took a vote that would prevent the selling and the manufacture of assault weapons in the state. And um, I, I understand that that's, that vote has been challenged and that the constitutionality of that vote is being challenged. And so if that challenge is successful, um, if that challenge is unsuccessful, then I don't know that this would be necessary, that it would be necessary for us to take this action. Um, but one of my questions for staff is how long will it take for the court to determine whether or not that was an unconstitutional vote? I'll say that there's probably not a good timeline for that, but you're likely looking at uh, years. Years. Yes. Right. And so in the meantime, organizations can auction up guns like this. There's no stay if they want to, sir. That's what, yeah. I, I would have to check and see if there was a stay of it, but I did not think that it was. Okay. Well, anyway. That question, the question about what parameters would make sense, would we want to completely repeal the entire WAC that allows charitable and nonprofit organizations to raffle off guns in general, um, guns and other mechanical devices which are capable of discharging dangerous projectiles? Would we, would, do we want to just get, do we want to consider um, the whole thing? Do we, does this commission want to take action against a certain kind of gun? Um, do we want to wait years until the court rules on the constitutional nature of that vote? Um, I was just really interested in what the rest of you thought. And uh, I'm not interested in making a motion today, but I'm curious to know where you are on this topic. I'll, you know where I am. Where I am is that I do not want charitable and nonprofit organizations in this state to be able to auction off assault weapons. I, I don't see that that makes any sense whatsoever based on our values in this state. But I am very much interested in hearing the full discussion to hear what your thoughts might be. Yeah, Commissioner Patterson, I, um, I, I agree with you. I think that this WAC um, is likely inconsistent with state law as it exists now. Now, granted that state law is being challenged, but it's inconsistent. Um, I, uh, I see uh, uh, less potential for a constitutional challenge to us repealing this work. Yes. Uh, so because if I might just inject, see if I'm following you, because taking away the ability for a charitable organization to auction off an assault weapon is not an infringement on somebody's constitutional rights. Correct. Okay. 
Um, and so I would support repeal of Quebec. In support of that as well. And I guess it doesn't make any difference if we were to do that and then the, the legislation gets stopped down, right? This black still would, that wouldn't matter. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I have some thoughts, but. <laughs> um, well, and I guess a question first. Um, our and I, you're not the only one that can't get on the interwebs, but um, the, I mean, our WAC currently, we can't auction off a firearm that's not legal to sell in the state. Is that correct? Sell or manufacture? So the WAC was. Yeah, so it says if the prize were awarded, <laughs> restricted from transfer by state or federal law. The licensee yeah. must award the winner a certificate redeemable by licensed firearms dealer for the prize option. Yeah. Um, I really say anything about it has to be legal, but I would imagine that would be <laughs> given. I, I think that's implied in the language right. the certificate from the licensed <laughs> firearms dealer. Yeah. But I mean, we're not auctioning off a gun that you can only buy at night out. I guess is the question I have. I mean, and I know some of these uh, organizations are have cross state. They're cross state, you know, multi state organizations. Some of them. That I can't say offhand. It does say state or federal law and just a licensed firearms dealer. So I, I think that it's very possible it could be a certificate. You go to a licensed dealer in another state. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's. Yeah. Senator Conway, did you have a comment? No, I think, I think, but uh, I think we never like, we never will allow the, uh, the gun itself to be. Part of a raffle, they have to get their gun from a licensed dealer, and the dealer is controlled by state law. If if current state law says they can't sell assault weapons, so I don't understand how assault weapon can get out there. Um, and uh, I I just we've always it's not the gun itself, the hard gun that we're light we're <laughs> raffling here. We're raffling out the right to purchase or get the gun. From a licensed dealer, Julia, mm -hmm. and and I think that it's still if if, if I, I, I I you mentioned that someone did this, I I'd be entered. Maybe they did it before we passed the law, uh, but right now I would think they can't do it. Well, is that right, S Suzanne? Can even you even even if the law is under appeal, the law is in effect. <laughs> is that right? Uh, yes, so long as the law is not stayed, it is in effect. That only applies to automatic rifles, though, right? Right. Yes. There's yeah. quite a definition of assault yes. rifle in statute. <laughs> so it sounds like, if, may I, Madam Chair, it sounds like what I've just learned is that even though the law that the legislature passed is being challenged, that that because that law was passed, charitable organizations in this state cannot raffle off the right or not raffle off the certificate to purchase an assault weapon. Can they still raffle off a certificate that allows them to purchase a, an assault weapon? So if you're talking about a certificate from a Washington state licensed firearms dealer, then that answer would be no because of the state law that is currently in effect. Is it in effect? It is in effect, isn't it? Yes. Okay. It is. But I guess the confusion now though is if this organization also exists in Idaho, can they go to Idaho where I don't think they have such a law and get it there and then how does and what does that mean? <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> so and so can we say that we don't 
that we in the state of Washington do not want charitable organizations to raffle off that certificate. Not the gun, but the certificate to get the gun. And that's all they do now. Yeah, that's all they do now. So if what I'm hearing you say is what you'd like to do is make certain that they can only offer a certificate re redeemable by a state, Washington state licensed firearm dealer. Right. Is that but I think hearing? Yeah. Yeah. Lawson was saying just kill the entire wax, then they wouldn't be able to do the rifle or shotgun. And then you would not be able to do anything, right. any firearm, not just assault. Right. Right. It would be, it would be correct. Just any firearm as a prize awarded by a nonprofit. And the way I read this back, it's not that they are getting a certificate to be able to redeem the for a firearm. That's only if that prize is restricted from transfer by state or federal law. So if in you know, for example, if we were talking about a BB gun, they could have the BB gun as like the actual BB gun as a prize, and then the raffle winners chosen, they can hand them the BB gun. So, you know, really, at this point, they wouldn't be able to hand them a an automatic uh, firearm, but um, they could still issue them a certificate to potentially go out of state and acquire the firearm. Okay, so, but would it be possible for this commission to um, put into place a rule that denied them the ability to issue a certificate to go out of state? If so, I'm also okay with repealing the entire <laughs> Well, maybe both things. So I, I'm wondering if, if my colleagues would be willing to ask staff to bring us back some answers to some of these questions so that we can explore rulemaking in this area. And I understand that it's controversial, um, but oh well, <laughs> you know, things are controversial sometimes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would like a policy briefing on what are what is currently allowed based on you know legislation that's been passed what is what is uh, what are um possible raffle prizes that are available to licensees today or in january whenever we uh, have this briefing um and i mean to a degree uh, you know if like if we were to initiate rulemaking Today, I mean, I just fear for uh, the uh, because we have incomplete information. Um, I've heard the term monology, assault rifle, automatic, all those sorts of things. Um, they're they're kind of technical terms, and we don't. I mean, we may or may not be using them correctly. And I mean, I've had more than one conversation, maybe with family member, that if I say the wrong thing, then they're going way down and way another path um, that's completely unnecessary. So, I mean, I think that it would be completely fair maybe to give our staff a couple months to be able to put together a briefing for us in January, February, that tells us where we are, where we stand, and then be able to make some decisions at that point. Yeah, I, I agree. I fully acknowledge that I've been imprecise in my terminology um, simply because I uh, couldn't find the right words. Sure, um, <laughs> it happens, <laughs> me too. Um, and, I, and I do wanna make sure that we are being um, correct in the terms that we use. Um, I just wanna make sure that this whack is consistent with other state laws. Um, so, yeah, perhaps a, a policy memo would be good. Um, but I will still say that at this time, I, I would support repeal. But I'm, I'm all, I, I can also support gathering more information. Can I 
Representative Clove, I think you had your hand up for a minute, but it might have been down. <laughs> I did. I did have it up, and I think, generally speaking, uh, I think that was uh, Commissioner Lawson who was just speaking. The I, in that briefing, and I think that that's a very uh, smart idea um, to try and get as much information as we can as we wade into this. And I think, just as a general principle, I think we probably could agree that. Uh, our rules about raffles should be in full alignment with state law. And this is an area that we need to take a look at and find out uh, in that briefing to what extent is there alignment or conflict. Thanks. Thank you. Senator Conway. I had been pretty much the same argument. The, the definition of assault rifle is very complicated in statute. And uh, you should know that because we were involved in quite a debate about that on the floor of the Senate when we passed the bill. So there's probably a, a great need here for a briefing. And there's also the issue of bringing guns out of state in that law, too. So you, we need, I'm uh, frankly, I believe a briefing is very needed. And I actually would encourage us to, I mean, I, mean, I would probably go to the Law and Justice Committee if I were doing it, but probably you can get the attorney general to try and give us a clear concept of the law and uh, before we take action, because I there there was quite a conversation there about people bringing assault rifles into the state as well. So that might limit the ability to do what you were suggesting, go out of state with a to buy a gun out of state. So I think there's a great need here for a briefing and great need to bring in the law and justice staff here to brief us. Thank you. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, I think that was my question too, is the new, legis the new law that's passed, how does that affect bringing stuff in out of state? Is that, is, so a lot of the confusion has to do with the definition of certain kinds of guns. But if if there were if this if this commission wanted what it could do is just um, take on the entire whack, and then we wouldn't have to concern ourselves with how to define assault weapon. Is that correct? Yes. And good. Yeah. We could ask staff to initiate repealing this whack. So that's that's on top of Bud's suggestions. I would like to suggest that staff bring us information about what we would need to do to take on the entire whack, with the whole thing. Just repeal it. Yeah, just repeal it. Is that clear? I think Is that... we'd take a vote and tell staff to start that process. I'd make that motion okay. today. That to, to ask staff to start that process, not on the rule, not initiating a rule, but I just heard you ask that you wanted to vote for that. Is that right? I don't have a say in this. I, I'm giving you options. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to? Uh, <laughs> do you want the policy briefing and, and ask staff based on that, or potentially ask staff based on the policy mm -hmm. briefing to consider? what that rule would look like. Yes, but I didn't want to tell staff that until I heard from me, you all. I have. Yeah, I, I think there's two two kind of tracks here. I mean, and we're kind of talking around it. And, you know, to an extent, I mean, I never really thought about it until I saw this on the agenda that, you know, whenever state law changes, um, that seems to affect us. We kind of review and staff reviews the wax and says, oh yeah, no, it looks like these wax are out of whack. Um, been waiting to use that. <laughs> uh, and, um, but, and so perhaps and that's part of what I want to understand, um, and, and be briefed on by staff is, are we, um, does our whack exceed state law? Do we need to refine our uh, our whack in order to comply with state law? 
So that's one track. And then certainly there is uh, another track that's like we as a, a gambling commission do not want to have any firearm or firearm depictions to be auctioned as a fundraising device for, so those are, but I hopefully we're gonna um, evaluate both of those tracks after we get a policy briefing from staff. So with the policy briefing, I would, would also hope that, so help me out here, everybody. With the policy briefing, would it be your expectation that staff would have a recommendation on what rules might look like that we could adopt? I think we would get the policy briefing first, make sure we all understand what we're talking about, and then maybe move to that next step. Of the rules. Asking for a rule to be drafted. Yeah, once we can discuss things knowing the policies and the, <laughs> yeah, what exactly we're dealing with. Okay, so that makes sense. I hope we can do it in January. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. keep in mind we're moving into legislative session in I January, know. and it's always a little bit of a hectic month. So. <laughs> um, all right, so we don't need to do anything else.